Welcome back to the channel. Whether you're new to Lens Island or have been playing since before the massive Uncharted Waters update, you've probably noticed that affording things like the backpack upgrades or fun weapons is not cheap. And not only did our Lin lose his shoes, but also apparently his wallet because we are broke. But before we get into everything, please do not forget to like and subscribe so you do not miss out on any of my Lens Island guides and content. So first things first, if you haven't played around with the town leveling mechanic, that is an absolute must given that to be able to buy and sell things, you'll have to not only level up your town, but also build a home for each villager you want to buy and sell things from. Now you don't have to build them some super advanced home and can slap something down if you just want to unlock them. But I do recommend at some point though going back and building them something nice since they're the one buying all of our goods. The first villager that you'll probably want to move in is Steph. She's a town florist and you gain access to different flowers pretty early game. While seeds are somewhat hard to come by, you can slowly expand your farming operation as you progress further in the game. Or when in doubt, you can always buy seeds from her just to get a jump start on your operation. I'm sure that some of you may be holding on to your coins, eyeing that new backpack upgrade, but spending money for seeds is not a bad way to invest your money so it pays off in the future. Now my next tip is kind of more secretive one and requires you to be able to sail around the islands. It's definitely something that you can do relatively early game though compared to some of my other later tips. Now if you haven't played around with fishing in game, I highly recommend it, especially in the caves because you can find some relatively late game items, specifically lightstone. But we're not going to be hunting for lightstone though. We'll be fishing for the angler fish, which are found in caves that have little glowing fish in the water. Like I said though, you'll have to do some exploring outside of the starter island to find a cave with angler fish. Now similar to before with Steph, make sure to move Kevin the fisherman in because he will actually buy your fish. And angler fish sell for 30 gold each, which is a pretty massive jump compared to flowers. Now the next tip I recommend is maybe a bit more advanced as it requires not only the refinery, but also the next town upgrade so you gain access to Eduardo the merchant. Anyways, for this one, it's a good idea to farm for clay, which can be found around water sources mainly, and stuffed into the refinery, which produces sapphires, which can be sold to the vendor for four coins each. It's not as passive as it means as flowers are, but clay is abundant along with the fuel to burn in the refinery, so a pretty easy way to make a quick buck. My final tip is a more advanced version of selling flowers, but once you unlock the town upgrade to gain access to Eduardo, you'll also gain access to the farmer Martinel, which you can buy and sell crops to. More than likely you'll have a decent pumpkin and blueberry farm since you gain access to them pretty early game. And of course, whatever other crops you come across while exploring the map, you can always sell them to him as well. Given that this new update also introduces a daily cap on how much gold the vendors have to buy resources from you, I highly recommend diversifying the way you make money. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or additional comments, please drop them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time, YouTube. Peace out.